Hi guys, it's Sarah. I'm back with another video and today I wanted to share with you what I'm going to use for Inktober this year. So I have this sketchbook. It's um, it's one of those like stitched ones from Artist Loft. They usually come in a pack of two. Um, so this one came with the flower one and um, they were like six dollars for the both of them. Um, there's 30 pages in here, so I thought that would be perfect for like a 30-day challenge, so I just chose to use this one. I thought it was fun because it had like the color splatter on it, and I thought that was like kind of like kind of ironic for Inktober because Inktober is usually just like black and white, but um, I wanted to use this one. I thought it would be really fun and cute. And then I got this um, carrying case from Target. I think it's really cute. It's got like a lot of like pockets and like zippers and stuff. And the inside looks like that. It's really cute. Like it has all these compartments in it. So I just have some mechanical pencils for sketching. This is a Stabilo uh, fine liner. This is just a Sharpie pen in case I need it. I have some Sakura Microns in here. Um, a couple of them did break already, which then I remembered why I don't really use those that much. So um, I have a Copic Multiliner in here. I have a Jelly Roll pen. I haven't been using this one as much. I'm more so using the Uniball Signal a lot. This one has more ink in it and I like it a little bit better. I have a regular eraser and I have my, if I could get it, my kneaded eraser. So I have those. And then I'm using my Copic um, grayscale markers. And I also have a Artist Loft black in there just because my Copic black died and I don't have a refill. So I'm using these gray markers. I want to try to do a lot of um, grayscale drawings and um, I'm trying to stay away from color this year. I feel like I always go over the top. Maybe I'll have like one or two pieces with a little bit of color, but I mostly just want it to be black and white. And I thought this was really cool. Um, this is the same design as my pencil case. I got this from Target as well. If you can see, there's little peace signs in the pen with some stars. And it's really, really cool. And I like it a lot. So hopefully you can see that. Yeah, I really like it. I think it's really cute. It's a little, like, ballpoint pen. It's really nice. I think it's really cute. And it matches this, and I'm just like, oh, perfect. <laughs> um, last thing I have is some prompt lists. I'm not necessarily going to follow these the whole time. Um, I'm just kind of using them as inspiration if I can't think of something. I do have, like, my own ideas of what I want to draw, so obviously I'm going to have you know, those for my Inktober drawings. So this is the official Inktober prompt list made by Jake Parker, who is the creator of Inktober. Um, and then here's the Mosery Inktober prompt list. Mosery makes those uh, fancy sketchbooks on Instagram. And here's a Instagram user, Ellie versus Bear, I think that's what it is. She has a Chilltober list, which I thought was really cute. Like, there's just cute, like, like words in here. Like, some words just, like, really pop out to me. Like, fire, tea, cookies, pumpkin, uh, magical bunny, potion. Things like that really, like, stick out to me in here. So, that's why I chose that one. And this one is by user Caroline Piltrowski. I'm not saying that right. I'm probably not. Um, it's right there. But anyway, she has a lot of, like, um, Halloween-y... Um, prompts so I really like that like she has like vampire zombie black cat spider skeleton voodoo uh raven scarecrow stuff like that I really like that a lot um so yeah oh I have a mascot look a little little bear mascot look at his teeny tiny little tail 
yeah he's gonna be our mascot for inktober so there there you go um so yeah i mean i have my own ideas i want to draw i have prompt lists in case i get stuck or want inspiration um if you want to see my inktober drawings i'll be posting them on instagram i'll leave that link down below and um i will be doing a sketchbook flip through at the end of inktober so probably i'll post that i don't know at the beginning of like november like november 1st or something like that so yeah but if you want to follow along with me you can check out my instagram but yeah let me know if you're doing the inktober challenge down below and i think that's all i have for today so i will talk to you next time bye